etch is quickly becoming one of my favorite things. It's it it takes a little bit to get used to, but it, it works the way that I want to work. I don't have to work in React or decoupling anything. Like everything's just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And what's really cool about this, I just played with this last night, was I was able to get Shad CN components built out in HTML and uh, vanilla JavaScript with AI. I was actually using um, Claude's new model, which works really great, and was able to get all of these different elements created inside of Etch and pretty quickly to probably 10, 15 minutes a piece ish for each one. We have a drawer which has a, a grab function, which does work on mobile. We have a shad, uh, sheet, so a, a window on the left, right-hand side. We have tabs. And most of this, it's not 100% accessible yet, but I have to make some little adjustments there, but it's it's close. And so I want to show you real quick how we can get a shad CN component built out in Hatch really quickly. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to shad CN, and I have this component, which is a dialog that I want to create and with HTML and um, vanilla JavaScript. So I'm gonna go to the code area here. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go to any, any AI you wanna use. I'm gonna use mine, which is a get Merlin and I'm gonna use Claude Force on it. And I'm gonna say, uh, create this shad CN component out of HTML and vanilla JavaScript. Do not give me React code. Um, please, or just, just, I'm not saying you say please, but nest, nest the CSS inside uh, of the parent selector using CSS nesting, not SCSS nesting, because there are kind of some differences there. And I think that's it. Uh, oh, main, maintain accessibility. Let's say that, okay, and I'll give it the code that I just copied from ShadCN, and uh, uh, but this is not, I don't know what focus mode does on this one. I'm just go off. Okay, and we're gonna go click go, and I'll, we'll see what it pops up. All right, it gave me back some stuff. We have some HTML here. I think it's still kind of compiling. Uh, we have container with a button, which I might just need the button. I don't need anything else, and a div here class of dialog box. We're just going to grab everything. I'm not going to worry too much right now about like, is all of it correct? Let's just see if we can get something working. Uh, so let's go down here. There's all HTML. There's our CSS. Is it actually, everything is nested in there. Okay. So let's just grab the HTML first. I don't need this container. I want the button. And uh, if it'll let me grab that button. There it goes. Probably because it was still loading and stuff. All right. So in this section, I want to put that button right right here. Okay, so now my button's added in, and I'm just going to give this a class of, uh, we'll go button base. Okay, I got, I got a button created there. And then I will call this uh, open dialog. Okay, there we go. Now we have, let's go back here. Let's grab the, this div right here, which is going to be our dialog overlay. So let's go down. There's a form in here and it's probably going to be this whole, yep. It's gonna be the whole thing. Now this might have a little bit of an issue because it is using a form and nope, we're good. But last time I was using forms, it did not like the information I was putting in there. Okay. So we're good there. And let's go ahead and find out what else, what else we need. We have our CSS. I don't need the container. don't need the button. Don't care about any of the button stuff. We have that all figured out. Dialog overlay. This is what I want. So we're gonna go down until we can find all of this information. There's the dialogue form. It should all be nested. And that should be good. Yep. Okay, let's take that. Let's go to this dialogue overlay. Is that what I'm targeting? Dialogue overlay. And let's just paste this in, okay? And let's see what happens. It might not like this because of the, let's see here. And all right, and false, that should be good. It could be running into some issues with some of the styling here. What I'll do is I'll save it. Let's go view on the front end here. Yeah, some of this is not getting styling. Oh, I know why, because I pasted the dialogue overlay inside. That is that is not, I have to remove this. Take that out. Let's go down. We're gonna remove one wrapper here which is right there. 
I should have had a beautify. That'd be nice. Okay, now things disappeared. So I think we're good there. We'll take a look in a second. We'll go back to our AI. I'm looking for right here, script. So we're going to scroll. I don't want the script tag or the, the opening closing. I just want all of this. And Etch just released a new update where you can tie the JavaScript to an element. So I'm going to say, you know what, we'll just do this whole whole container. I want this JavaScript to be associated with this container. So I'm going to drop that all in there. We don't have any, any script wrappings. It's, it's just the JavaScript here. And I don't know if this is going to work. So we're just going to click save and we're going to find out right now. We're going to open this up and open dialog and it's working. Let's just change that button here to save changes. So I'm going to do a search real quick. We'll go save changes next. There it is. Let's change this button to be, uh, well, save changes. We're going to say, but the class we're going to do button base and actually we'll do button outline. I don't know if I have that one styled yet and we'll just move the class of button. It's not needed. Okay. The fact I can alter HTML is just so nice. Let's refresh. All right, I don't have button outline created, but the button's already made for me. And so, okay, let's, let's make sure that this is working correctly. If I open this up, focus is being moved to my close button. I can close it immediately. I can go in here, edit my fields, save the changes, profile update successfully. Jeez, it's, I mean, nothing. nothing's happening on the back end with this form, but like you can make it do it. I mean, look at that. We, we just got a really good looking dialogue box created in like, what, how long was this? Five minutes? I didn't even do anything. Ah, that's so cool. Uh, and now here's the thing you have to kind of think of is like, okay, do I have multiple of these things created? So, um, you know, if you want multiple of these dialogues on a single page, you're going to have to go and make sure that you target the right, you know, button to the right dialogue. I'll just call this a dialogue overlay. And you'll, you'll have to do some refinement there, but like you got something working like super fast. Anyways, this is just, it's really cool. Um, wanted to show you guys, this is actually possible to do, and you guys can pretty much take any of these different elements from Shad CN or, or a different framework or a component framework and just have Claude for Sonnet, which I'd recommend using, have it change the React components into HTML and vanilla JavaScript. So have fun with this, play with this. If you don't have a copy of Etch, well, I'm sorry.